Don't, don't be startled, Miss Aliha. Don't be scared, it's just me. Mr. Sadula. Oh. Mm. oh, Mr. Sadula. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought I was home all alone. I didn't see you there. Uh, come in, come in. My goodness, it's so nice to see you. This is for you. Oh, thank you. How sweet. They're so lovely. Um, but let me make you um, some coffee. Oh, I, I didn't know that you were coming. Otherwise, I would have prepared. Don't it. trouble yourself, Mrs. Aliha. Oh, I'm hardly sweet. a stranger. I'm just here to have a little chat with you. They told me that you've been sick, so I came to check on you. Yeah, it's true. They say that I'm really sick, but then I don't know what happened. Actually, I'm here to talk about business regarding selling your house. I'd really like to come to an agreement regarding your family's property. What should we do, Mrs. Ali, huh? Let's finalize this once and for all. Your sons say that it's your decision, since the house is officially in your name. I'm, I think it would be best to sell it. Goodness. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I think that the best thing to do right now would be to discuss it with Hassan. Oh, but you know he's not interested in this kind of business. Oh, not really. That's true. They all say that it's up to you. They all told me that your word is the only one that counts. <laughs> I can come here with a notary, and then you can go ahead and name me as your proxy. Huh? I really don't know what to say. I mean... I don't even really like that house, you know. So I should just get rid of it. You should. Right? I'll sell. I'll sell. We can't live here forever. I want to sell it and travel yeah, the world. Yeah. I'll sell. And that's my final word on that. I think that Mrs. Zaliha is just fine upstairs. No mental issues at all. She mentioned that she wants to sell the house. I can come back here with a notary so that she can name me as her official proxy, right? Come on. Come on, doctor. You know I'm going to need you to sign off on this. Listen, I've already told your friend here. If I sign off on a report for a woman in that mental condition, I could lose my job. Or worse. We'll provide you with adequate protection, doctor. Don't worry. So just think it over. You think it over, and we'll be by to talk again later, all right? When we have money, well, they say that I merely play instruments, you know? But when I have money, they'll call me a musician. <sighs> yeah, you bet, man. They'll even build a music school with your name. It'll be called Rich Ender Toshkin. A conservatory for street music, huh? <laughs> man, when we have money, we'll go to a new party every night. You, you messed everything up for all of us. We would need to pay back the money plus interest. I'll also get a nice guitar. Oh, the gold in the world will never bring your father back to me. I'll get some nice tools to work with, with fancy gold plating, huh? Where have you been, young man? This is the first dinner at our new home, and you are gone. OK, I have to go out. I have to go and show the house to a client. You should come sooner than later so that the store doesn't stay closed. All right, I'll go as soon as I'm done with the dishes. All right. My mom. I spoke to my husband. Once this business with the wedding is behind us, we've decided to stay here in Istanbul. The boys will get to go to school here. Namik is going to have a word with my husband. Look, Mom, you need to stop talking about Namik, all right? Oh, my goodness, and why is that? Namik is a very nice young man, and he visited me. And despite the wedding craze, that nice young man still came by to see me. Namik? Yes, that dear boy came by to visit me. He came in here? He did. Sadula, what are you doing here, huh? You need to go inside. Someone will see you. Let's go. Come in. Go inside. It's as if I've been in exile for months, but now I'm back home. 
That jackass Yigit is running around with a gun in his hand. Have you come back here to be his target? I have nothing left to lose anymore. My wife has left me. I can't even get into my own house. The only relative I have left is Aliha, but I, I went and stabbed her in the back. Well, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> She's gone mad. She doesn't remember anything that's happened, you know. Are you being serious? <laughs> She's found her peace of mind. Zaliha lives peacefully now. Zaliha's sons have handled the situation. They've had her committed to a mental hospital. She has doctors and nurses to look after. If we could only live as comfortably as she does. <laughs> look, things have just settled down around here. Don't do anything to make Yiga come after us like he did before. You did your job, you'll get your money. Look, everything is over now. Mr. Nahat will ruin us if we mess up again. Okay, I've got work to do. Namik, you're back. Mr. Vebby, y'all be right over. Let's meet in front of the house. I'm leaving. Keep an eye on the store for me. Uh, Azaliha? <laughs> Hello. It's so good to see you, my dear. How are you? What's up? They told me you don't remember anyone anymore. Oh, yeah? And who told you that? <laughs> I didn't believe it. I said that it's not possible. Of course, Zaliha would recognize me. She practically raised me. I could be considered one of her of sons. Of course, we're going to your wedding. How could they say that? I'm having the tailor make me a dress out of taffeta, but the tailor's nowhere to be found. I've been waiting for him for days. I'm going to go crazy waiting. But listen, Namik, what if you were to talk to your brother? We could stay since we're already here, huh? The boys can go to school over here, although Yigit doesn't have a head for studying. Goodness, he's so naughty, you know. But my Emir, darling, a genius. That's right. Emir is truly clever. Isn't he? <laughs> 